Blessings. Blessings, family. January 26, 2020. Sad day to lose an amazing legend like Kobe Bryant. Let me tell you a couple things about the shamanic, occult, esoteric noticings that are coming up for me and my systems. Uh, Systems, because we are all one connected to the one. And there's a couple other brothers and mirrors who are pointing to some of the the unseen fragrances amongst an occurrence like this. I think his name, I'm going off off my memory, RFG Chosen One, is an account that uh, he posts a lot of the kind of subterranean noticings, the underneath noticings of what's taking place in the matrix, in the manifested world that could trick our senses into thinking that it is the most real. So something to keep in mind on a today, well, keep in mind and heart on a day like today is how does this bring us back into unity? And how does this increase the way that we uh, amplify our own light and our own love, empathy, unity, consciousness, Christ consciousness? So how does this contribute to an upward spiral? That's not always an easy access point, especially for a muggle. Which, by the way, any muggles, if you don't like what you're watching, stop watching, you know? Sometimes people comment just negative stuff, like, what are you doing? Why are you watching this, you know? Do some self-control and, like, maybe you don't watch if you notice that it's not relevant for you. Um, but if it's relevant for you, if you're an awakening star seed and you see this as a moment in the matrix where maybe your family, who's a little bit more dense than you, or maybe just social situations or you start hearing it or seeing it being posted on everybody's story like oh sad Kobe Bryant da, da, da. it's like why is this happening what is this what is happening here one of the things that RFG was pointing at is it's very interesting that Kobe uh, LeBron just passed his scoring record Kobe scoring record yesterday and the number 13 its significance uh, and then some other stuff that I don't have all the hundred, all the way 100% resonance with. But if it's relevant for you, you'll seek it out and you'll find what's, what, are, what are the relevant pieces of the puzzle for you to become aware of. Um, you know, it's a, it's a sad thing when you lose somebody that collectively we've all come to love and we've all come to hold in our hearts as a part of us. And... Shamanically, to lose a limb of our body as the collective, we're one, unified, right? But then to see everybody as individual separates, uh, what does that mean when we lose someone that's like a heart or, a, or an arm or a leg, like someone who's, who's important, quote unquote? This is an interesting aspect of the celebrity culture of how it makes some people seem to be more important than others. And then it gets us all spiraling into loops about the drama and just talking about it. And then we talk about their life. And that can be really nice if we're celebrating uh, and remembering. And, and the passing of form is often riddled with confusing and complex emotions. So it's easier said than done. But this is where the shamanic walk comes into, you know, comes into place. Um, loss and grief do need to pass through the body, especially when there's cords of tethering to other identity structures, meaning your identity structure has some investment in another identity structure, another human. And for them to now, as a soul, be like, scoop, I'm out, and no longer be in that form, it brings with it into the Akashic field, into the more subtle realms of existence, It, br- it, it it's now... It's kind of like uh, you're leaning on somebody and all of a sudden they disappear and you kind of fall forward. There was a energy that was meeting you and now that energy is gone and that energy is looking for somewhere else to go and tether onto and it doesn't have anywhere to go so there's this kind of lack of being met. That's one aspect of it. Uh, in terms of how the media in the matrix uh, just mirrors all the sadness and the grief It's basically their job. Uh, The law of one is helpful to understand all these uh, aspects, but uh, third density social prisms 
don't really have purpose uh, or understanding of their purpose beyond recycling information. So they're just taking the grief and sadness that everybody else is already experiencing and, and proliferating it and sometimes even amplifying it, which affects our system, the star seeds and those who are awakening to the higher densities. Um, it can feel heavy in days like this, but it's also important to notice what's happening in your life on a day like this. What are the other signposts that are saying one is, one is lost, what is gain? And that's where the idea that the, the cabal and the deep state are always making blood sacrifices. They're always making these really wildly uh, interwoven chess moves on the quantum field itself, in the quantum field. And, and this is where the, the, the left-hand path magic is really sinister. Um, the Christ light does what it needs to do and it's, you know, Kobe is with us all in our hearts. We all know his name. We all know his, his presence. We all know his light. We all know what he stands for. So now how can we take what he stands for and walk with it as our own walk, as our own, you know, he wasn't with me shooting in the gym. You know, how can we take that and embody that in our own way? That mamba, that fierceness, you know, and then obviously this man looked like I don't know him personally I didn't know him personally when he was in form but he looks like a very loving father and uh, looks like a Jedi ninja you know samurai frequency if I ever saw one so those are the those are the positive aspects that we can integrate from a moment like this with a moment like this but notice when Saturn attempts to constrict your light into a moment and focus you into a drama point, it won't feel good in your system. And if somebody else is around you and they're looping around the drama of something like this, that is the idea of a blood sacrifice warping the collective out of Christ consciousness ascension into a drama point. And it's, it's, now, it's now really helpful to be mindful of what else is going on. And I don't know, I'm not looking at the news actively. I just saw this thing with Kobe when I got on the gram earlier and uh, saw all these, a handful of posts. And I was like, wow, it's a lot, lot of energy moving right now. And I've had a very interesting day. Um, I, I'll just share it in brief. I met Kanye today. You know, I'm never going to fail. That's how it feels. I went to Sunday service this morning in Burbank and uh, my life is just never going to be the same. Ever. Um, so for me, it's very interesting, shamanic, noticing that you know this happened on this day. But I invite you to notice what else is taking place that Kobe represents to you. Uh, what else is taking place in your life that mirrors or somehow assimilates his frequency to your life? Um, basically, he was a, he is that frequency, right? Embodied in in the field but now he's not in that form but his frequency is available for everybody as as it already was but now it's like it's it's now it's like a character that's been unlocked from the the game because he's not playing that character anymore now that character is just what his story was so it's kind of dehumanized a bit and it's almost like celestialized if you will which is not dehumanization it's to me it's even hyperhumanization because it means somebody lived a potent life and they give us they gave us medicine as a collective um but yeah zoom out and look at what else is going on in the collective right now what's happening politically socially uh what other dramas are going on that they might be doing a sleight of hand wag the dog kind of moment right now to me that's the first place my uh training points me towards my training points me towards to recognize is this truth or is this uh, part truth and if and therefore what else is being withheld or um, how is this being utilized to suppress the light from spiraling upwards and uh, yeah interesting dynamics today much love to y'all blessings yeah